we want to figure out what ax plus b squared is. And I encourage you to pause the video and figure out what that is in terms of capital A and capital B. So let's work through it. This is the same thing as multiplying ax plus b times ax plus b. So let me fill that in. This is ax there, another ax there. I just wrote it in that order to make the color switching a little bit easier. So ax plus b times ax plus b. Well, what's that going to be equal to? Well, if you take this ax and you multiply it times that ax, we are going to get ax squared, ax, the entire thing squared. And then if you take, if you take this ax and then multiply it times this b, you're going to get abx. Then if you take this b and you multiply it times this ax, you're going to get another abx, abx. And then last but not least, if you take this b and multiply it times the other b, it's going to be plus b squared. And so what are you left with? Well, you're going to be left with a, I'll write it like this, ax squared, which we actually, if we want, well, I'll write it in a different way in a second. And then you have plus, plus two, it's a slightly different color, let me do that other color, plus two abx, and then finally plus b squared, plus b squared. Now I said I could write it in a slightly different way. What I could do is just rewrite out ax squared as being the same thing. This is the same thing as a squared x squared, and then I can write out everything else the same way, plus two abx, and then plus b squared. Now why did I, what's interesting about doing this? Well now we can see the pattern for the square of any binomial or a binomial like this. So if, for example, if someone were to walk up to you and say, all right, I have, I have a trinomial of the form. Let's say they have a trinomial of the form 25 x squared plus 20 x plus four. And they were to tell you to factor this well, actually, let's just do that. Why don't you pause the video and see if you could factor this as a product of two binomials. Well, when you look at this, you say, well, look, you know, this 25x squared, that looks like a square, a perfect square. 25x squared, that's the same thing as 5 squared x squared, or you could write it as 5x, 5x squared. This 4 here, that's a perfect square. That's the same thing as 2 squared. And let's see, 20 right over here. If, if we wanted to fit this pattern, we would say that a is five and b is two. And so let's see, what would be two times a, b? Well, five times two, a, b would be 10, and then two times that would be 20. So this right over here is, that is, plus two times five, two times five times two, times two x, times two x, I'll do it in this color, times two x. So you see that this completely matches this pattern here, where a is equal to five, and b is equal to two. Once again, this is ax whole thing squared, then you have two times a times b, x, we see that there, and then finally you have the b squared. So if you wanted to factor this, you could say, well, this is just going to be the same thing. Since we know what a and b are, this is going to be 5x plus 2. 5x plus 2. 5x plus 2. Whole thing squared. So the whole point of doing this is to start recognizing when we actually have perfect squares, especially perfect squares where the leading coefficient isn't 1.